studying, and academics. It starts in middle school. It becomes more important when you get to high school, and how well you do in high school determines what college you can get into. And if you do well in college and get a degree, that is what employers like in our society. And although college itself isn't necessary to become successful, it can dramatically increase your chances at becoming monetarily successful in this world. And like it or not, that is a system that we live in. You go to school, you get a job, and you make money to buy things. That's the world and system that we live in. I personally have been a student all of my life. And yes, I've had jobs and I'm even currently employed right now, but I've never had a full-time job. I've always been a full-time student. I graduated from high school and I'm in college right now and I'm a full-time student. As far as intelligence goes, yes, some kids are predisposed to being more intelligent and being more successful academically due to their genetics or socioeconomic upbringing, but overall, intelligence and academic success are highly controllable. They are in your control. With proper studying, note-taking, and paying attention and, and just showing up to class, you can dramatically improve your academic success and your intelligence. So in the next three videos, I'm going to share a method that I've been using that is very effective for studying less and getting better grades, whether you're in high school or college or in grad school. This method is very effective, especially when you have a very high workload that you're trying to work with. This video is going to be part one of three in this mini series on academic success and studying, and is going to be about what you do when you are in class. So when you are in class, it's important to eliminate your distractions, such as your friends talking next to you, or your phone, or anything else that will distract you from paying full attention. And that brings me to my next point, you need to pay full attention, you need to get into the material, you need to ask questions, participate, and you also need to take good notes while you're in class. So you can go off these notes when you're outside of class of what you should reference and what you should study for. So as far as paying full attention, eliminate your distractions, your friends, your phone, and get into the material. Ask questions, participate, actively listen, make connections. You need to do all of these things so that you absorb and understand and break down the material in your head while the teacher is going over them. The more attention that you pay in class, the less studying you will have to do outside of class. I'm going to repeat that a lot in this video series. As far as taking notes, when you take notes in class, don't write every single thing that the teacher has on the board or the PowerPoint. You need to take condensed notes in your own words. Don't use anybody else's voice. Use your own words understand it and then write it down don't just write down something you don't understand and if you don't understand it that goes back to the point of ask questions understand the material write it down in your own words condense it summarize it you don't want pages and pages and pages of notes if you don't have to have them condense it so you know what to study from what are the main points become efficient with it that's what you do while you are in class to repeat that important point the more you pay attention while you are in class, the less studying you will have to do outside of class. And to add to that, the more personalized, summarized notes that you take while you're in class, the easier studying will be outside of class. This video covered what you do while you're in class, such as eliminating your distractions, taking good notes, and paying full attention and getting into the material. In the next video, I'm going to break down how you should take notes that is efficient and effective. And then in the third video, I'm going to talk about how to study from these notes to master the material and perform well on your academic tests or quizzes or assessments. So thank you all for watching part one of this mini series, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.